Hey Siri, how not to miss any future Tech Labs video? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy. What's going on guys? Stick up sure. And in today's video I wanted to talk about specifically about the jailbreaking and tell you guys everything that we know so far about jailbreaking at this point. So guys, from a previous video, it hasn't been a while since I made it, but I have been blown away by just looking at these numbers. Guys, the, the amount of views I got and the amount of comments and likes has been like absolutely amazing. So I decided to probably make this series as a series like every single week. So you will see one video every week. Uh, if you, of course you will support me on the jailbreak update. So I hope you will enjoy it guys. So today I'm going to cover up some basic materials about the jailbreaking, especially how you can save SHSH blobs in order to downgrade from the future versions of iOS to the previous one, for example, the iOS 10.3.1. So in case the jailbreak will be updated and released, you'll be able to actually downgrade and actually flash this jailbreak on your phone. So guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started and let me tell you guys some things about the jailbreak. So I wanted to start off from some bad things about the iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak by Pangu and why it may not even get released. So the actual conference where the jailbreak has been demoed called the Janus, this is basically the security and threat intelligence platform and the Pangu wasn't actually talking about specifically jailbreaking, they were just you know kind of demoing this jailbreak alongside this whole conference. So it was just the whole conference is all about the exploitation and vul vulnerabilities and all that stuff and there's actually a kind of article on the internet that is available right now but unfortunately it's in Chinese language so you cannot understand anything. So there's actually a guy who translated some piece of information from here and uh, on the subreddit you can actually see that in here it says uh, that this whole Pango, uh, Pango conference uh, it doesn't contain any release information. It talks uh, about how Pango has always been more than just iOS jailbreaking. So it basically says nothing about jailbreaking and it always says like uh, the jailbreak was just a kind of a demo, an additional thing to this whole conference and it may not even get released. And the next piece of information comes from iDevice help channel. So probably know this guy. He is kind of a big on YouTube, but anyways, he actually spoke into a real source that has a 100% trustful source, and he actually says that this jailbreak is 100% real. So that means it is there, it is on Pango side, and they can release it like every single day. They can do this like at any time, at any given point, but we don't actually know when. But this jailbreak is real, and it's like a good thing that we can actually expect Pango to release it, but still, we don't know when it will happen. If you guys remember from a previous video, I actually mentioned mentioned this little guy, he's a Chinese guy and he actually tweets in Chinese all the time and we have the crappy Chinese translation. So anyways, uh, he actually says that this uh, jailbreak will be dropped in a week after they will collaborate, the Pango will collaborate with the PP assistant if you remember, but anyways, if this will not happen, probably the jailbreak will be dropped after the full release of the iOS 10.3.2. So right after the Apple drops the iOS 10.3.2, they will probably patch all of these vulnerabilities from the iOS 10.3.1 and this is the major reason uh, for the Pango team to actually release this jailbreak because they cannot use these uh, vulnerabilities any longer in the future jailbreaking and all that stuff because the, if they are patched you cannot longer use them at any given point. So again guys, if the jailbreak will not be released this week, it will probably be released the next week but if we will not see any jailbreak next week, it will never be released again. And finally guys, the last thing for today is the SHSH blobs and I'll tell you guys why you need to save them at this point. So you actually asked me so much a lot of you guys ask me so much about should we update from the iOS 10.2 let's say to iOS 10.3.1 well I don't really know because we don't have this 100% you know true information about the jailbreak when it gets released or will it ever get released but anyways if you guys uh, update to a newer firmware, you will be able to actually downgrade to the previous one using some, you know, tools and all that stuff. So SHSH blobs are actually uh, those kind of uh, assets which will help you to downgrade from the new firmware to the old one. So in case the jailbreak will get released and you will no longer have this ability to downgrade, the SHSH blob will help you with this one. And yeah guys, so let's go ahead and grab this SHSH blobs from our phone. So first of all, I want you guys to go ahead and go into the App Store and grab the Telegram Messenger application. So this is where we're gonna operate on and we're gonna get this SHSH blobs from. So now guys once you set up the telegram you want to go into the search menu and type in the R 
jailbreak so just like that make sure it's our jailbreak not just the jailbreak and now you're gonna select the jailbreak bot make sure it's exactly this one uh, with this kind of a profile photo make sure it's this one you're gonna see nothing here and you want to click on restart bot if you typed in previously something here so now you want to actually uh, type in the SHSH up here yeah click on SHSH now it's gonna provide you some kind of information like this you want to save new and yeah we need now to select our device so from here you want to select your device so for me this is the iPhone 7 plus it's probably the GSM version uh, right so this one now you want to select the version which you're gonna save so this is the iOS 10.3.1 and now you want to also go into here and it's gonna tell you guys about the ECID. This is the number which you're gonna get from the iTunes. So now guys, at this point, I want you guys to actually grab a computer, connect your device to your computer, and install the iTunes, like the latest version. And again, it doesn't really matter which computer you have, because like I think the iTunes is available for every single device, uh, for the PC as well. Of course, you're gonna go into the summary tab once you launch iTunes, make sure it's connected, uh, go to the summary tab, and now you're gonna see the three strings up here. So you're gonna see the capacity, the IMEI, or something like the uh, something like this and also the ACID or any other number so from here you're gonna click on the string the bottom string I'm here you're gonna click a couple of times until you see the ECID make sure it's one C uh, between the E and I so it's just the ECID not ECCID all right so you want to copy this little string uh, into your messenger up here so make sure it's the valid one and make sure you uh, type it exactly like it's in iTunes so now I have just done this and as you can see there is my number you want to click on the send and now you need to actually wait a couple of minutes until it will process all of your files and generate this little SHSH2 file so this is it guys that's all you need to do but now from here you want to actually share it to your computer so you want to actually download it to your messenger so just like that you want to click on the file click share and now from here you will be able to actually share it using the gmail or any other messenger yeah to your computer or any other device so yeah guys once you have shared this little shsh2 blob you're gonna be able to actually downgrade to this firmware the ios 10.3.1 in the future in case you update to like let's say the ios 10.4 you will be able to downgrade to ios 10.3.1 and have the jailbreak once again if it gets released or something like this but i don't really sure if the tool for downgrading is available at now but i'm pretty sure in the future it will be available for every other user and you'll be able to use this file uh, for such a downgrade but yeah guys i think this should be pretty much it for today for today's jailbreak update video that's basically all we know about jailbreaking uh, at this point but yeah guys if you enjoyed that video make sure you leave a huge thumbs up at this video it will be so so much appreciated and yeah i'm probably gonna do this as a series every single week if you guys will support me so make sure you hit that like button and yeah guys make sure you share this video with your friends let everyone know about the jailbreak update and as always guys stay Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.